God. Congratulations. 24 people from 18 different countries took the oath of allegiance in Annapolis today and became America's newest citizens. A dream come true. It's been, I've been living in the U.S. for 27 years. Say thank you to my dad because he's the one who did most of the hard work. Such a, uh, a special moment to have it on the 4th of July. For many, the decision to become naturalized is a complicated and very personal one. Proud moment. I can finally call myself American. I've been waiting 33 years for this moment. So it's been a, it's a wonderful day, great day to become an American citizen, uh, and what a beautiful place to do it. This was a special naturalization ceremony held at the home of William Paca, a signer of the Declaration of Independence. And actually the drafter of numerous uh, proposed amendments uh, to the Constitution of the United States, parts of the Bill of Rights, including the Establishment Clause, the Freedom of Religion Clause, the Freedom of Press. Uh, so that makes it a particularly meaningful place, uh, one, to have a naturalization ceremony and two to have it on July 4th. A setting deeply rooted in our nation's past for an event celebrating our nation's future. Beautiful, beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's a day to remember. In Annapolis, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.